Now we shall do certain important characteristic features of phylum Arthropoda. Phylum Arthropoda happens to be the largest phylum in the animal kingdom. The term Arthropoda was coined by Von Siebold. The term Arthropoda was coined by Von Siebold here now. The arthropods exhibit heteronomous segmentation. Heteronomous segmentation. They exhibit heteronomous segmentation here now. And they are also bilaterally symmetrical organ system graded animals with a distinct cephalization. In all arthropods here now, the body is covered by chitinous exoskeleton to minimize loss of water and for protection. And they undergo molting or ecdysis process to shed off the old and worn out cuticle. And body is divisible into definite units now called tegmata. Tegmata, division of the body into definite units or tegmata is called tagmosis. Is called tagmosis. In arthropoda, for the first time, the elementary canal is highly coiled. It is divisible into foregut or stomodium, midgut or mesenteron, hindgut or proctodium. Foregut and hindgut are internally lined by chitinous cuticle, while midgut or mesenteron is internally lined by glandular endodermal epithelium that secretes various enzymes. You know. Then in uh, arthropods, Respiration takes place by different organs like gill respiration is noticed in crustacea, tracheal respiration is noticed in class insecta, class chylopoda, class diplopoda. Book lungs act as respiratory organs in scorpions and spiders. Book gills are the respiratory organs in limulus and some of them even respire through the body wall. Then they have got definite excretory organs also. Excretion takes place in most of them by malfusion tubules. Malfusion tubules are the excretory organs in spiders, then chylopods, diplopods, and insecta. Then uh, coxal glands act as excretory organs in limulus and scorpions. Coxal glands are the excretory organs in limulus and scorpions. Then uh, they have got um, a nervous system here now, which is more or less similar to that of amyloids you know they have got different types of receptors in most of the arthropods you know eggs are central acetal cleavage is superficial and life cycle is indirect in most of them involving larvae that undergo metamorphosis to uh, acquire the characteristics of the adults you know now phylum arthropoda is divided into subphyla you have got subphylum trilobitomorpha Subphylum Trilo Baita, then Subphylum Chelicerata, Subphylum Mandibulata, Subphylum Trilo Baita, Subphylum Chelicerata, Subphylum Mandibulata. The Chelicerata is divided into two classes class Xiphosura and class arachnida class ziphosura and class arachnida and mandibulata is divided into classes class crustacea class chylopoda class diplopoda and class insecta class insecta now, trilobita, if you take here now, they are extinct, the most primitive uh, arthropods here now. The trilobites lived during Paleozoic era. They lived during Ordovician period of Paleozoic era. By the end of Ordovician, most of them became extinct here now. They are all marine. In trilobita, body is divisible into three lobes by two axial grooves. That is why they are known as trilobites here now. Body is divisible into head or cephalon and uh, ab abdomen and pygidium. Body is divisible into head or cephalon, the anterior part. 
the middle part is abdomen and the posterior pygidium. They have got a pair of multi-segmented antennae and all the appendages are biramus. All the appendages in trilobites are biramus. And they have got a larva called trilobite larva and examples are triarthus and dalemnitis. The examples for trilobites are triarthus and dalemnitis. The chelicerata here now, and they have got a pair of pre-oral appendages called chelicerae and four pairs of walking legs and a pair of pusher legs here now. And in some of them, they have got chelicerae, pedipalpi and four pairs of walking legs here now. Chelicerata, they are all terrestrial here now and some of them are aquatic. Most of them are terrestrial, a few are aquatic here now. Chelicerata is characterized by the absence of mandibles and antennae. In chelicerates, mandibles and antennae both are absent. That is supposed to be one of the unique characteristics of chelicerata. Chelicerata is divided into two classes, class Xiphosura and class Arachnida. You take Xiphosurans now, Xiphosurans are marine. Most of them are extinct. It is represented by only three living genera here now. In uh, Xiphosura, body is divisible into prosoma and opisthosoma. Opisthosoma is once again divisible into mesosoma and metasoma. Prosoma is covered by a shell called carapace. Prosoma has a pair of chelicerae, four pairs of walking legs and a pair of pusher legs. That is in prosoma altogether you find six pairs of appendages. Among these you find first pair of chelicerae, four pairs of walking legs and one pair of pusher legs. Mesosomal appendages are modified into genital opercula and book gills. They have got five pairs of book gills acting as respiratory organs in the mesosomal region. The metasoma ends with a telson. The best example for Xiphosura is Limulus. The Limulus is commonly called king crab or horseshoe crab horseshoe crab and it happens to be the living fossil of arthropoda and remember its respiratory organs are book gills and excretory organs are coxal glands. Excretory organs are coxal glands. As I made a mention here now, prosoma is with a, a pair of chelicerae, four pairs of walking legs, one pair of pusher legs, mesosoma, Genital uh, mesosomal appendages are modified into genital opercula and um, five pairs of book gills. You know. Okay, so these are the important characteristics of limulus that belongs to class Xiphosura of subphylum Chelicerata.